Hello my crafty friends, it's Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations and today I have a little experiment for you. We are going to look at uh, four different kinds of vinyl and try it with etching cream and see if there's a difference on making your etches look better. So we're going to look at Oracle 651, Dollar Tree Permanent Vinyl, or a Mask Stencil Vinyl, or a Cal 631, which is the temporary vinyl. And then we're also going to throw in the Dollar Tree etched glass vinyl and compare that with all of the stencils and see what we think is the best option. So stick around for all the fun. Do you find this helpful? Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Now let's jump back in where we left off. All right, I've got everything set up here. I've got my wine glasses. I've got the design cut out in the different vinyl types. I've got my transfer tape here. I've got my rubbing alcohol and a cloth to clean what we're gonna put this on. My gloves, I've got eye protection on, my etching cream, and then I like to use um, Q-tips to do that to apply it and then I've got my scraper tool to get that on there. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're just gonna do one at a time. I'm just gonna get this cleaned off with some rubbing alcohol. And then we'll let that dry. I'm just gonna set this kind of on my rag to help hold that into place. And then we'll go ahead. I'm just going to get them all applied on there first, and then we'll add the etching cream. And then the transfer tape that I'm using, I figured I would try the uh, Dollar Tree transfer tape and see how it goes. So we've got Dollar Tree transfer tape. This one here is the um, Oracle 631, which is the temporary. Uh, temporary vinyl. So we'll see how this goes. Just getting that on there. Get that peeled off. And then we'll get that applied to the wine glass. So these are tapered. So, you know, these going to be a little bit more difficult because of the taper. So I'm just going to try to start in the center, get that lined up, and then I'm just going to press from the center. And then I'm just going to slowly make my way pressing outward. But I'm going to try my best to get rid of any uh, wrinkles in the vinyl especially right around the opening. Which is going to be difficult to do because this is a tapered wine glass. And doing it as a stencil, it's not as easy. So I am going to make some notches in this. I'm going to try to still leave enough room around. around the opening. So I'm going to try to put some notches in this vinyl to help it bend and move how we need. I don't need it the entire stencil on here completely flat, but I do need it flat around those open areas because I want good contact so that we don't get any bleeding all right, I've got my Armor Etch Cream here. And this one here is permanent Oracle uh, 651 permanent vinyl. We've got the Aura Mask Stencil Vinyl. I've got Dollar Tree Permanent Vinyl. Oracle 631 temporary vinyl and then we're going to measure them all against the 
uh, Dollar Tree glass looking vinyl. So let's see what they end up looking like. I've got my eye protection on, I've got my gloves on. I'll give this a little shake. Now I used the Dollar Tree transfer tape on all of those designs and it was a nightmare. It peeled off the vinyl with it when I peeled off the transfer tape. So um, that I would say is definitely not worth the $1.25 per roll. So now I'm just adding that uh, etching cream and I'm just dabbing it, putting it on pretty thick. But I'm trying to be careful not to go outside of the words because I've done some cutting on the vinyl and uh, made these smaller in areas. I want to make sure I'm only getting the etching cream right inside the openings. So I'm just going to dab that along. So I've got all of them done here and let's take a look. So this is the Oracle 651 and I know it is hard to tell. I know it's hard to tell but this one looks pretty good. There's a couple of spots where around especially around the little wine glass that um, where it spilled out and then my N, and then there's actually a couple spots on the outside of where the design was that didn't work. So not terrible. I think, if, um, you know, some of it is the design that I chose and how I placed it on there. And then the next one, this is the Dollar Tree permanent vinyl. And again, around that wine glass it looks it ran over a bit there's a couple of spots that did not take well to the etching cream and i think that's more i just needed to it was kind of gritty i probably needed to shake it up some more and then again i've got a spot outside of the bounds that also got etched but overall not any worse than the oracle the next one is the Ore Mask. So this is the Orca Ore Mask stencil vinyl. Again, a little bit of leak right in the corner around the wine glass. And then a little bit on the T. And then um, the big part of the W looks like it had some leakage and then got really thin, but uh, doesn't look terrible. And then we've got the Oracle 631. So this is the temporary vinyl. And this one again, I have a couple little spots around the edge of that wine glass. And then around the T, there was some issues there, but overall not, not bad. And then um, I just wanted to show you, this is the Dollar Tree etched glass vinyl. So this is just regular vinyl cut like you normally would and placed on my wine glass. And obviously, you know, it looks perfect because it was placed. But does it actually look the same as etching glass? I think it does look pretty darn similar. Um, it's got a little bit of a different texture uh, to it. It's got some little bubbles on it, but it looks relatively the same. So I, I don't think that's a bad I idea to use that. Um, I don't think 
it's not very tacky. I don't think it would hold up in the wash, uh, sending it through the, uh, the dishwasher, where these, all the rest of these will survive the dishwasher. So overall, which vinyl do I think you should use for etching cream? Honestly, I think it's more about how you take the time to place it. If I went off of just which one turned out the best, I'm going to say the uh, 631 is the one that had the least mistakes. But again, I think really it's just about taking the time to place it and to get all the wrinkles out that are right around the openings. And I think that's why I really had a lot of the overspill. And I think it's just putting it on a tapered glass with the vinyl that I'm using. So my my recommendation is just take your time and also pick your designs uh, carefully because again you're making it a stencil so the thicker the openings are going to be the better results you're going to have whereas that's why on all of these around that tiny little wine glass is where i had the most trouble because it's really thin area and there was a lot of room for there to have leakage and it happened on every single one of these wine glasses so that is my recommendation i don't think it matters so much which vinyl you use i think it matters more what design you use and taking your time to apply it to your wine glass